Hi guys, so I just want to make a quick video about jades. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about when to water your jades and you know how often to water them and I think this question is you know the answer is different for everybody but I just want to show you guys how resilient jades are because um, I'm always afraid to overwater mine so I let them go for a really long time until I start to notice things like this and really this is kind of only in the winter time because when it's summer and when you have great sun um, things are a little bit better the, the soil dries up faster and um, you don't have to worry about root rotting your plant so I kind of let go, let go of some of my jades and, and didn't water them for a long time so I can show you guys how resilient they are so this one is kind of the driest one do you see how the leaves are all like crinkled up and empty pretty much these upper ones are not that empty but these lower ones are really empty and in some cases when you don't water your plant for a long time it starts to sprout little roots because the plant is so dry that it's looking for moisture and uh, possibly to propagate itself because sometimes if you don't water at this point a branch will break off and you know let's say it would break off right there and these roots would just root themselves into the dirt wherever they fall. So, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, the leaves aren't falling off. They're still like pretty sturdy. Some of them fell off. This one is just from another plant. Sorry guys. Check it out. I haven't watered this guy for a long time too. Look at how empty this leaf is. It's even a little bit soft, but it's attached. Even this one. Can you see how wrinkled up it is? So I am going to water these guys today and I'm gonna come back to you guys tomorrow to show you how much, how the plant fills up with water again. So, you know, in winter time, like I said, I feel like it's always kind of on the safer side to water less so you don't root rot your plant. But when it's nice and hot in the summer, especially if you keep your jades outside, I would water them maybe like once a week. So, you know, especially when the soil is dry and then you get like lots of new growth. So anyways, guys, I will see you in a little bit when these leaves are nice and plump. Hey guys, so um, I wasn't able to make this second part of the video on the next day because it turns out it took a few more days for some of these leaves to fill up. So I just wanted to show you, um, you know, the difference. So first I'm gonna start with the one that really, really filled up this Gollum Jade or, I always forget its name. Anyways, this is that super crinkly leaf and I didn't think it was gonna fill up actually after a day or two, but it's been more like four days now since I did the first part of the video and look at how filled up this leaf is. Look at this one. These ones are so crinkly and now everything is just solid and and nice and full. Here, this is the other one I believe that was really crinkled up. Look how solid it is. So yeah, I mean, um, this is amazing if you ask me. This is why I love jade so much because you can kind of let them go for a while and um, just water them and they kind of come back to life. So um, let me show you some of the other ones. So these ones in the smaller pots didn't have as much success. Um, the top leaves filled up really nice, but look, some of the bottom leaves are still kind of empty. So I'm thinking about that I need to water both of these little guys one more time before they really plump up. Move these to the side. Here's another one that was looking really bad. Um, this one, almost all of the bottom leaves were like really sad and crinkled up. This is the only one that didn't fill up and I'm wondering if it's just, it doesn't seem like it's gonna fall off because it's really sturdy on there when I'm yanking it, it's not coming off. So maybe just another, another watering and it will plump up. Uh oh, I'm finding some, some mealy bugs here, yuck. I have to spray that before they get on my other plants. So this is the other one that was really kind of dry and crinkled up. 
But look at now, all the leaves are nice and plump. And everything is looking good. I'm really excited about it. I think I'm gonna trim this guy too at some point. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video about trimming jades again because all of mine are a little bit overgrown. This guy needs a trim too, if you ask me. So this is the last one that I believe I showed you guys in the first segment of the video and all of the leaves are super nice and plump. Um, I do get a little bit of like this white residue, but from what I've learned, it's just um, the minerals in my water. There's just too much crab in my water, so the plant kind of puts it out on its leaves. Um, but otherwise, this one's looking really good. Actually, it's getting a little bit of a red tint too, which I love. I love the jades. They have a little bit of a color. And I do see one leaf that's still a bit crinkly here. But again, I'm not going to just water it straight away because it's only been a few days. I'm going to wait like another week and, um, and then I'm going to water again. Another nice way to ensure that you're not going to overwater your plants is to use a water meter. Uh, it's just a little device that you stick in the dirt and it shows you how, um, how wet it is or how dry it is. Um, so unfortunately mine is not within hands reach so I can't show it to you. But I will put a link in the description as to the one that I use if you're interested in getting one. But um, but yeah, so this is pretty much why jades are one of my favorite plants because it's really hard to kill them. I mean, unless you overwater them and you love them so much that you can't stop taking care of them. But really with jades, it's one of those plants where you just kind of got to let it be and once in a while only... Um, give it some water love because then it will thrive for you anyways guys i hope this was helpful um like i said a lot of you have been asking me questions about when to water their jades and you know what might be happening why their leaves are falling off i did want to say um these green jades are very much easier to take care of for me than the variegated ones i did get a variegated jade like a really big one I do have one back there too, if you can see it, all the way back there. Um, but I did get a really big plant sometime last year. I do have a video on it. If you are willing to look back, I'm gonna try to maybe put it somewhere, somewhere here, so you can see it. But when I brought it home, it was overwatered. Um, a lot of the leaves fell off. But I do think that when you first buy your plant, it's probably you know for safety reasons don't water it right away because you don't know how much they watered it at the nursery um, or at the store where you bought it from so you want to just kind of give it a week or so I mean unless the leaves are looking like this all crinkled up then you know it probably needs some water and especially when you touch the dirt and it feels really dry then it needs water but if it looks happy if the leaves are plump especially for jade don't water it for a little bit and just let it be see how it adjusts to your house to your climate and then give it a nice watering all right guys i hope this was helpful let me know if you have any other questions and i'll see you soon ciao ciao